New information about a deadly canoe accident in Julington Creek, an accident that claimed the life of a 16-year-old boy in February. Today, Florida Fish and Wildlife released an investigative report. It states Riley Teixeira died from a spinal injury and drowning after the canoe he was in with two friends flipped over. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom has been coming through this new report. She's joining us live. Bree. Yeah, so Texero stood up. He was also shaking the boat, causing him to fall off the boat along with the other two passengers. Now, the report also states that this is required for, sorry, the report also states that there were no life jackets on board, and that is required for vessels under 16 feet. This detailed report given to News for Jacks by FWC details what happened before and after 16-year-old Riley Texera drowned while canoeing in February. The report states at about 6.15 in the evening on February 20th, Texera and his two friends went canoeing to watch the sunset in the Julington Creek area. That's when the report says Texera started goofing around and stood up and caused the boat to flip with the three passengers on board. Texera began to panic. The two others on the board attempted to help Texera, but were unable to. The report states the other two passengers swam to a nearby dock where they contacted a neighbor who called 911. Officials located the 16-year-old's body the next day in the St. John's River. He made the biggest impact on people and when I was like, when I was at the lowest point of my life, he was the person that helped me gain confidence again. This interview was done back in February at the vigil for Texera. Dewar was one of the occupants on the boat. The report states Texera's cause of death was drowning and a spinal contusion. FWC says when Texera fell from the canoe, he possibly struck the back of his neck and possibly caused a cervical spine injury. Karen Parker from FWC talks about the one thing you need to have with you on any kind of boat. Uh, a lot of people say, well, I know how to swim. I don't need a life jacket. Well, if you're, you know, if you fall out of the boat and you become incapacitated or you're injured, then, you know, you, there's a better chance of you drowning. Now, coming up on News for Jacks at 11, I'll share more details from this report. Also, some tips if you're planning on hitting the water soon. I'm reporting live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.